Well, the War of 1812 continues to be remembered in the Baltimore region. And as you likely know, our national anthem, as any child in this region knows, the Star Spangled Banner, came directly from that war. Francis Scott Key actually, of course, wrote the poem, which inspired the song following the bombardment of Fort McHenry. Well, last week, actually April 1st, a new War of 1812 exhibit opened at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis. And Commander William Marks joins us here today to tell us a little more about it. Thank you for coming up and You're talking welcome. with us about this. Thanks, we have had quite the celebration marking this War of 1812 and all that it meant to our state in particular, to the country at large. Why is it that this continues to capture so much interest for us? Well, there's so much local history with the War of 1812. Um, first, from the Patuxent River uh, all the way up to the Battle of Bladensburg. Of course, you mentioned Fort McHenry and all the history there. And then Annapolis, which has uh, been there since 1845 and even before is Fort Severn. So locally, anywhere in Maryland and the region, there's just so much history involved with the War of 1812. We really want to celebrate it. What are we going to see exactly at this exhibit at the Naval Academy? Sure, well, uh, I've been through exhibits all across the country. This one is so classy and elegant and beautiful yet modern. And so uh, just a few few things you're going to see, uh, my personal favorites. Uh, we have a, a piece of a flag that was on board the USS Constitution during a battle, one of our most favorite, famous battles. And uh, you can just imagine being there 200 years ago uh, in, in battle. Uh, we have actual pieces of ships, and uh, not small ones, but you look up and you see uh, this huge figurehead of a ship. And then uh, another favorite is, uh, during battles 200 years ago, the sailors on the ship, if they won, they would get a, a big medal, looks like a, a big coin, and a uh, bonus. Uh, you got some of the bonus money. So I wish we had that now, That's but you see, yeah, that see uh, how it was back then. So just a beautiful exhibit. And the other thing we've done is we've made it such that if you only have 30 minutes or an hour, you can come right into Gate 3 of the Naval Academy, go right there to the exhibit. But if you have uh, half a day or a whole day, we've set up a walking tour and the, we have the museum and the exhibit. So you can really spend the entire day in Annapolis go to the Naval Academy and see the exhibit. Right, well, so it really is designed for everyone, be it young school kids, be it those who really follow the history of naval wars and, and, and American history in that way. So you can enjoy the whole day or a part of the day. And it's easy access. I think sometimes people are intimidated with the mm -hmm. idea of going to the Naval Academy that they're not gonna have the security clearance to get through. How do you locate it on campus? Absolutely, very easy. It is uh, within line of sight of gate number three. You walk right in. If you have any sort of ID, driver's license, show that. You don't have to really stop and wait for anything. Go right through, and right next to our museum is Mahan Hall. Uh, just follow the signs. It's really easy. And so it opened on April 1st. It will run through when? How uh, all the way up to November. So come Terrific. see us this summer or this fall. All right, Commander, thank you for coming in this morning. I've got to go see that flag. It does. It, 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 it's wonderful with historical artifacts, remember, maybe to be a part of that and how it was for those involved. Thank you.